In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to run four verticals at a high level in Madden and some tricks to use air raid principles to basically tag the play all the way down the field. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is focused entirely on helping you improve in Madden. And in today's video, we are breaking down some air raid principles. Now, those of you that have bought my competitor's guide, you know I'm a big fan of the air raid offense or if you've been around my channel for any length of time you know that I'm a big fan of the air raid offense and so what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of talk about air raid as a more of a philosophical approach and I'm in the Arizona Cardinals playbook primarily because Cliff Kingsbury is an air raid type of coach and all we're going to do is we are going to use four verticals passing principles to be able to do this now you don't have to call four verticals right you can call any play that you want but for the purpose of this video we're just going to come out in any spread formation and we're just going to call the play four verticals now on defense we're going to come out in uh, just a simple dime package and we're going to call a couple different types of coverages i'm going to set my coverage shells up here in my quick audibles and we're going to talk about kind of how this little offense is actually going to be very effective so we're going to back the ball off now in four verticals you're going to be in a variety of different um a variety of different positions right you're going to be on the left hash you're going to be on the right hash and all that's going to determine some of the different principles as far as route spacing route placement and uh, we're going to talk about that in just a second but for those of you guys that are watching and you're just looking to get better at madden my channel is designed to help you do that i do that through a variety of different ways and the best possible way to stay most up to date with my channel is to join my channel discord you can click that link in the description it's going to take you to my discord server you can join right there and it's the best way to get kind of up to date not only strategies and tactics but it's also a great community and opportunity to ask questions all right, so the first defense that we're going to look at is a cover four. Now, a cover four drop, you see you've got four deep blues, and really the only window to throw this is going to be in between the linebackers and the safeties. So just, again, going through the standard four verticals concept, and you see Tyreek Hill is going to be on this little post route. So all we're going to do here is snap the ball, and you're going to see I can in inside pass lead and cut those streaks off with Travis Kelsey and with Tyreek Hill. So I'll show you this one more time. Again, this is that cover four. You get those reroutes. But again, that inside pass lead is going to get us in a nice little tender um, zone in the four vertical tag. Now, one of the things that I want to talk about for just a brief second, if you can kind of take your mind off of Madden as, a, as it pertains to the meta and as it pertains to what people are probably going to try to do with you, to you, which what they're probably going to try to do is they're going to slide these guys off and they're going to send pressure at you. Um, both different both directions and what I want you to do right now for just a brief second is I want you to think about this in terms of leverage right where is the leverage on the field for you where can you pass the ball where can you throw it and then what all can they do for example you see here on digs I can't put him on anything that is going to take him to the right side of the field he can either go directly straight back he can go to the outside the only way he can go to the middle field is if I put him on an inside third if I put him on a hook curl, you see he's going to drop right into this little gap right in here. And if I put him on a QB spy, he's going to drop over the middle. So there's all kinds of different um, zones that you can put on the field. But for the purpose of this video and for the purpose of the four verticals, one of the things that's really important is to tag based off of what you think they're going to do. So if I'm looking at this play right here, one of the little simple tags that I can do is I can take my right side guy Robinson and I can put him on a comeback route. Now, another thing that I might want to do is I might want to take Tyreek Hill and put him on the line of scrimmage. As you can see now, I got my two interior streaks right on the line of scrimmage, and then I've got my outside guys backed off, and that's just going to be a little bit of a spacing. So now what you're going to see here is the spacing has been created, and now I can hit those interior streaks. Now, what opponents, is, what opponents are going to do um, to kind of take this away is you'll see they're going to start bringing these guys down into the box and in essence the whole point of a cover four is to take away the play four verticals and now you're going to see if I try to pass lead this in I can still cut it off with Travis Kelsey it's just not at the same uh, level now let's go to a different defense for just a second and let's go to Tampa 2 
at Tampa 2 is a very popular defense. And what's even more popular, especially from a three down lineman rush, is something like this. This is a very basic max coverage out of that. Again, I'm going to motion Tyreek Hill to the left to make sure he goes on the line of scrimmage. And you're going to see here at the snap of the ball, those vert hooks are going to basically follow those vertical routes and they're going to take them away. They're going to basically serve as match principle routes. So there's really no window to throw out of a Tampa 2 style, especially if they have the vert hooks on the field and if those vert hooks are going to go within a match principle. You're going to see here on both sides of the ball, I'm going to step up, step up, step up. And the only one I have a potential shot at is this little bot dot right here, but that's possibly because of Tyreek Hill's 99 speed. So it makes you ask the question, how do you, how do you really understand four verticals as it pertains to the air raid? Well, four verticals, or as it's called in the air raid, it's six. It's designed to attack the whole field. You know, the air raid is known and the spread offense is known for attacking both the vertical and the horizontal. But what I want to spend a few minutes talking about today is how you can actually basically hedge your bet within the four verticals by using comeback routes. It's one of my favorite routes to tag is to throw just a simple comeback route out on the field. Here you're going to see I'm going to put Robinson on a comeback route, snap of the ball, and we're going to have time in the pocket. And you're going to see I can throw that comeback route against Cloud Flats on the outside. Now, hang with me for just a second. Now, Again, I'm going to run Tampa 2, and we're going to run Cloud Flats on the outside. we got vertical hooks on the inside. And I want you to take a look here at Instant Replay. If I take Robinson, and I just throw the ball with a pass lead up, you see how he's going to... See how it's going to get into a very tender spot of the defense. Let me show you an Instant Replay here. So here we're going to go in Instant Replay. Whoops, sorry about that. We're going to go into instant replay. You're going to see this little interaction here. This is man aligned Tampa 2. This is the best possible way to run it because you're going to get a significant reroute on that outside. You see that the corner stays in leverage the entire way up the field. But because of that pass lead, we're able to put it in a really tender zone that he can't really get to. Now, let me show you this to the short side of the field. So again, this is just standard, you know, max coverage, Tampa 2. And now we're going to put Watkins on a comeback route. You're going to see here, not only does he get to the outside, but the corner does play him a little bit more up the field. But that is an interesting little revelation that we just had in practice mode. Because of the leverage of the corners, right, and I talk about this all the time. I've actually talked about this over the course of several years in Madden. Leverage matters. Leverage matters. Spacing on the field matters. Where you position your players, it actually matters more than just having a money play or a money route. Now with that comeback route, because we're running it from a spread formation, if I pass lead that up, I can actually have a shot at getting up, up the field. Now not only do I have the shot of doing it from a comeback route, but this now goes to show that pretty much within four verticals, now you've been kind of working through how can we get that outside leverage? How can we get that reroute? Because what, what we're typically used to happening is if I just take him and put him on a streak, Robinson, you're going to see he's going to go inside. But because I've got that little fade, you see here, I'm able to put that little back shoulder fade right up the seam against the cover two. What this is going to do to the defense is this is going to force them to play different different types of defenses depending on what you're going to run. Now again, I'm known for the air raid uh, and I've actually put a lot of practice time into this, but with a simple motion to get Watkins to go to the outside, having that fade route go to the short side of the field, you see the defense is going to play it entirely differently and I'm able to in easily throw that in the pocket. Now let's say they go to something like a cover four, right? So now they're not going to have a cloud flat they're gonna have a deep quarter because in theory that deep quarter is going to run with that fade route well this time I'm gonna take Sammy Watkins and just put him on a little little fade you see there in the bail technique right there but if I pass lead that to the left you see I'm gonna be able to hit that comeback route against the cover four so it begins to start to really uh, matter you know what route do you use do you use a fade or do you use a comeback route and can you get that comeback route to get deep enough? Because if you can, 
then you see there I've got that nice click on user catch against cover two and then I've also got that um, I've got that little possession catch against cover four so we'll show you that right here so if I just take Sammy Watkins and I put him on a comeback route you're gonna see here he's gonna get that outside leverage let him get deep just a little bit and I'm gonna be able to click on and it's gonna basically turn into a one-on-one -on -one. it's between me and the user now my job as the quarterback right everyone has a role so my job as the quarterback on this play right here is to effectively get the ball out there I've got to get the ball deep enough to Sammy Watkins so that he can get up so wait 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 get him up and then click on and now I've got to get that ball up just a little bit more but hopefully you're starting to see why this is significant it's a simple tag out of a four vertical play but it's a simple tag that really causes a lot of issues for your defense because they can't really run cloud flats to stop a comeback route but they also can't really run deep quarters to stop a comeback route because you can throw it at multiple windows that's why I talk about like the importance of having multiple window routes that you can throw at multiple different points also part of the issue that the defense is going to run into with this is because they're in a Tampa 2 that corner is going to basically stop he's going to stop moving and one simple thing that I can do to kind of help this just a little bit is I can take my running back and put him on a little in route to the left side you see here he's on that little underneath route now that corner knows he's going into that zone and again it's just a click on swerve him to the inside and possession catch that ball just cutting off the ball is essentially what I'm doing this is one little tag in a list of many tags within the four verticals that is going to help you because this one simple little route this one simple little tag route you see how I could throw the ball like I can wait all the way up to the 40 yard line. So I'm just going to wait here, gets to the 40, and turn around. And that right there was cover four. Right, that right there was cover four. So you see how, you know, depending on the type of zone that that corner is in, it's really going to determine how they're going to defend what you're running. And if he's in a cover four, I can wait till he gets to that 40 and then pass lead it up. And you see how he keeps going as a streak? Do you see how it keeps going as a streak? To me, this is so significant. Let me show you this in instant replay. So he's on a comeback route, right? The receiver on the left side is on a comeback route. But because I wait to throw the ball until right in here, right? Because I know he's going to break right in here. I'm throwing the ball right now, pass lead. And you see how it's getting the ball into a window of opportunity right every route has a window of opportunity it's up to you as the quarterback to understand when and where to hit that so we'll show you this one more time um, against cover two and then we're going to talk about it against cover four so again i'm just going to put him on that comeback route you see there see how that route stems all the way up to the 40 snap of the ball step up in the pocket wait 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 throw it right there and you see it's going to basically turn into a back shoulder fade. Now I'm pass leading that up and to the left for those of you that want the exact pass lead. And this is short side of the field, right? In theory, it wouldn't work to this side of the field. In theory, it should be going to the opposite side. But you see right in that little pocket. And that's that's very, very consistent. Now, let's say, let's say you face something like, and I don't know if this will work or not, but let's say you face something like a cover two sink, right? We've all seen uh, defenses like this, so I'm going to put him on that same comeback route. And you see here, whoops, I threw it a little bit early, but you see how the cornerback is going to stay over top of him? That is going to change how that corner is designed to defend him. Now, soft squats are going to give this the most issue because it's a specific type of zone, but soft squats are going to open other things up for your offense as well. You're forcing the defense to play one way, essentially. So I got that comeback route on that left side. And you'll see here, snap of the ball. He's going to stay on top. And then I'm able to deliver that comeback route right as it breaks. So it's a two-window route, right? You're, if it's a cloud flat or if it's a hard flat, you're going to be able to throw it right in that seam. If not, then you're going to be able to throw it as it breaks. So here, this is cover four. And we'll show you this to you again. While all the while you're working that middle, working that middle, working that middle. And there you see the cover four is going to give it the hardest, hardest issue. But you do understand within the cover four, 
but the way the cover four is going to defend it let me show you that real quick um, the way the cover four is going to defend it is that co that corner has to have time to get there so if i just pass lead this to the left you'll see right there it's an it's a click on and i can basically user catch the ball right in the window of opportunity right because with every route comes a window of opportunity and if they don't have cloud flats out there they're going to have issues so that simple comeback route and while we use it as a pull route for most of our other um, type things whoops just a little bit late on that i think i was in i was i was trying to show you cover four but we use the comeback route as a pull route with a lot of our offense right or however what i'm suggesting is this route is actually a very viable option, especially against cover two, and a very viable tag out of the play for verticals. As I'm just missing, just missing the pass lead a little bit on this against that cover four uh, with the cloud flat. However, what that opens up, and let me just show you, you'll see here, it's gonna open up this seam right here to your, to your tight end. You're gonna be able to click on, swerve him to the inside, and be you know very effective against cover four so now you have you know again multiple opportunities depending on on what you're actually going to do as you can see right there and if everything breaks down you get your quarterback but these are a couple of little bitty tags that you can utilize out of a out of a four verticals play four verticals is a thought right you want to go score six so one of the things that i'll you'll see me do from time to time is i'll take tyreek i'll put him on a streak and i'll take sammy Watkins, and i'll put him on this route right here and now i know i can throw that route to sammy Watkins. as you see right there that's a comeback route but i'm throwing it like i would a streak right if they don't have cloud flats out there they're screwed against this route you have to have a cloud flat to guard it and what's really nice about the way this is going to work is what you'll see is he kind of glitches out the cloud flat kind of glitches it out a little bit and you also have um, a couple of other options when it comes to your interior streaks right you're gonna have interior streaks open the bail technique is really what they have to run and what you'll see here is then I can run some combinations there on that other side of the field but you'll see here that route to Tyreek. If I pass lead that to the left, I might be able to click on and get that. Not quite, but they're going to have to have, they're basically going to have to have a specific type of zone to take away what we're going to do from four verticals. They're going to have to have the cover four drop with the cloud flat. And what that's going to then open up out of four verticals is this is another option of a tag. I can run a curl concept on the left side. I can just take Tyreek Hill, put him on a hitch route smart route the route now he's in cover four they're dropping all the way back and i'm able just to deliver that curl route so hopefully you're seeing how even though we're using streaks for a lot of things that we're doing we're able to tag different types of routes for different situations so hopefully this video was helpful again just wanted to kind of give a little bit more insight into as we go into the next wave of madden with madden 21 right around the corner why the four verticals concept in the air raid is such a significant concept even though most people don't really run a lot of four verticals in competitive madden hopefully this was helpful to you and again if you want to take this to the next level and you want to get a little bit deeper with my offensive and defensive strategies i I want to encourage you to pick up a copy of my competitive bundle guide it is in the description of this video and again that guide is 100 percent updatable so it's going to update every single week leading up to madden 21 and then once madden 21 comes out it's going to get an entire overhaul for madden 21 that you're going to be able to up upgrade for 100 percent free of charge that's my competitive bundle so basically you're going to get four different ebooks within the cost of one ebook and again that you can pick that up in the description below in this video if you have any questions at all always feel free to text me my number is 812-216-3644 and i want to encourage you to jump in the discord because again you're the average of the five people you associate with most and if you guys want to get better at madden in my opinion one of the best ways to do that is to be in a community of people that are surrounded with the idea of getting better at the game. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.